This video is, not to bash, or belittle, only to educate, the scientific view of transgenderism. Dr. Paul R. McHugh, a former chief psychiatrist at Johns Hopkins Hospital and currently a distinguished service professor of psychiatry, claims that transgenderism is a mental disorder that needs to be treated and that sex change is biologically impossible. He also claims that people who support sexual reassignment surgery are supporting a mental disorder. Dr. McHugh, the author of six books and at least 125 peer-reviewed medical publications, recently wrote in the Wall Street Journal that transgender surgery is not a treatment for persons who believe their gender identity is different from what nature has biologically assigned to them. He also talked about a recent study that showed the suicide rate was 20 times higher among transgendered people who have undergone gender reassignment surgery than it was among non-trans people. In addition, Dr. McHugh highlighted studies from Vanderbilt University and the Portman Clinic in London on children who had expressed emotions of transgender identity but who later spontaneously abandoned such feelings. While the Obama administration, Hollywood, and influential magazines like Time support transgenderism as being normal, according to Dr. McHugh, these groups are doing no favors to the public or the transgendered by treating their confusions as a right in need of defense rather than as a mental disorder that deserves understanding, treatment, and prevention, he continued. This intensely held perception of transgenderism is a mental illness in two respects. The first is that the idea of sex misalignment is false and does not accurately reflect the state of affairs. Second, it might have detrimental psychological impacts. The disorder of transgendered people, in Dr. McHugh's opinion, lies in their assumption that they are not the same as their body's true realities, their assigned maleness or femaleness, as decided by nature. The illness, in McHugh's opinion, is similar to that of a dangerously thin anorexic who sees themselves as overweight in the mirror. As a result of the assumption that one's gender is just in their head and unconnected to anatomical reality, some transgendered people have sought social acceptance and confirmation of their own subjective personal truth, according to Dr. McHugh. He pointed out that as a result, certain states, such as Massachusetts, New Jersey, and California, have established laws making it illegal for psychiatrists to attempt to change a transgender minor's natural gender feelings, even with parental consent. According to McHugh, studies show that between 70% and 80% of children who demonstrate transgender thoughts eventually spontaneously lose those experiences. Pro-transgender advocates do not want the public to be aware of this information. The majority of patients who had sexual reassignment surgery said they were pleased with it, but their subsequent psychosocial adaptations were no better than those who did not undergo the surgery according to the study. At Hopkins, we ceased performing sex reassignment surgery because it appeared insufficient to justify medically amputating normal organs to create a satisfied but unsatisfied patient, according to Dr. McHugh. Spanish model Lucia Aradia, 24, strikes a pose on July 16, 2020 in Ceuta. During the competition, which will take place in Oropesa del Mar, Spain, on July 26, 2020, Lucia will be the second transgender woman to compete for the Miss World title. The Miss Ceuta beauty pageant was won by Lucia. Jorge Guerrero provided the photo for AFP slash Getty Images. Additionally, the former Johns Hopkins chief of psychiatry advised against supporting or encouraging certain subgroups of transgender people such as young people susceptible to suggestion from everything is normal sex education and the institution's diversity counselors, who, like cult leaders, may encourage these young people to distance themselves from their families and offer advice on rebutting arguments against having transgender surgery. Dr. McHugh went on to say that some misguided doctors will treat young children who look to copy the opposite sex by administering puberty-delaying hormones to render later sex change surgery less onerous, even if the prescriptions impair the children's growth and risk causing infertility. According to Dr. McHugh, such behavior comes close to child abuse because more than 80% of such kids will abandon their confusion and grow organically into adult life if left untreated. According to McHugh, sex change is not biologically possible. People who undergo sex reassignment surgery do not switch from being male to female or vice versa. They change into feminized versions of either men or women. To support and work with a mental illness while promoting surgical intervention is a civil rights issue. Heavenly, Father God. Where two or more are gathered, you will be in the midst of them, and whatever we agree upon will undoubtedly be carried out. The Bible states that unforgiveness should be dealt with before praying, so we release any resentment that may be holding us back. Deep into your spirit, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the listener who desires to pray against the spirit of confusion. Father, you are an organized and powerful God. All that you do has a purpose, Lord, through Jesus. You have given the listener the power to control their thought life. They may not always be able to do so, but now they can do so. 
we lay any feelings of resentment or any other wrong attitude before you now, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in the name of Jesus. Whatever is confusing them, we lose understanding of the scenario or problems they are currently dealing with. As ocean waves, we declare that anyone who attempts to confuse them will be met with clarity. We declare in the name of Jesus that focus and clarity, and the capacity to concentrate abound in the listener's life, Father God, fresh and new we command that what is unknown to be known we speak confusion into the enemy's camp. Now we declare that they slip up and that again truth spills forth so that the listener both knows and understands the questions they have on their heart, we call forth the truth to the surface and now we command that what is unknown to be known. We speak truth into the enemy's camp now we declare that the enemy slips up. Yes, Lord, we beg that you make the listener wise for this point in their life and for what you want them to do. Grant them information and awareness about how to apply that knowledge so, that they might advance in victory with spiritual wisdom, and we bind a laser focus to the listeners at this very moment. We ask for the Holy Spirit's power to settle on them as we declare, Lord, may clarity permeate every part of their life. They need increased awareness and insight for the listeners. As cast their burdens upon you, Lord, and you are causing their thoughts to be by your will, their plans are established and will succeed in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you are guiding their steps and making sure that they are clear before their feet. We declare that the listeners understand and firmly grasp what the Lord is for them, and we declare that every question they have has an answer in Jesus' name and all that the listener requires. We declare that they are focused, focused that they walk in clarity and that everything will be by you, Lord. Hallelujah! They have the mind of Christ and hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of His heart. In Jesus' name. We enter into that blessed rest by adhering to trusting and relying on you, Lord. We thank you that you have given the listener this ability. We praise you, yes, Lord, that they look to you to empower them as they press forward toward the finish line before them. We confess that they can do all things through Christ who empowers them, that they will finish, Father, what they start and they will accomplish whatever they set their hearts to because they are led by you. They will move forward from here with clarity, understanding, determination, and diligence. Yes, we believe that you have empowered them to finish what they start and to accomplish whatever they set their hearts to because they are led by you. Let them realize that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen.